Hi, I'm George from EnviroBuild and today I'm going to be taking you through how easy it is to install Sisu Click LVT. But first of all, let's go through some of the equipment that you're going to need for the installation. Okay, you will need a rubber mallet, a carpenter square, a utility knife, a tape measure, some chalk or a pencil would do, and some 5mm spacers. So the first step is to let the board acclimatise to the temperature of the room that you're installing in. To do this, store the boxes in the room laid flat for at least 24 hours prior to the installation. Okay, next step is to ensure that your subfloor is smooth, level and dust free. So if there are any bumps or cracks, make sure you smooth those out using a floor levelling compound and give the area a good old hoover. Today we're going to be using an underlay for our installation. An underlay such as this one will help you to create that perfect underfoot sound and feel and it's also really good to lay on as it will hold your tiles in place during the installation. To lay the under roll, simply roll out across the length of the room and cut to size. Perfect, we're now ready to begin our install. First step is to determine the direction that you want your flooring to run in. Typical practice would be to run the length of the tile along the length of the room or floor plan and from left to right. In this case, we're gonna start here and run in this direction. Starting from the corner, take the first tile and lay it with the tongue side facing the wall. Place five mil spaces between the tile and the wall to create an expansion gap. Continue the row by clicking together the short edges of the tiles. To achieve the perfect click, you want to come in at a 30 degree angle, push forward and then lower the board to flat. Add spaces as you go. So we're at the end of the row now and the last tile will need to be cut down to fit in place. To determine the correct size, just measure the distance between the penultimate tile and the wall, minus five millimeter expansion gap. Then simply mark this length on a new tile and use a carpenter square to mark a perpendicular cut line across the tile. Cutting CC click tiles is really easy. Simply score along the cut line using a straight edge and a utility knife and then break the board using your hands. Pop the measured half in place and then use the remaining off cut to start the second row. This will give you a nice, natural, staggered layout. Place the off cut and then continue with a full length board and click in with the shortest edge first and then the length. You can use a rubber mallet to firm the boards in place. Finish the row by measuring and cutting as before. Place your final piece and use the off cut to start row three. Repeat this process until your flooring area is complete. So there you have it, Sisu Click LVT. Quick and easy to install. Now just a few finishing touches, remove your spaces, trim off any excess underlay, and firm up any gaps in the tiles with a rubber mallet. 